Hi everyone and welcome back to Sumi Learns. If you are new here, my name is Sumi and on my channel I try to learn something new every week and this week I learned how to figure out the day of the week for any date ever aka I became a human calendar. I'm going to explain how to do this but be warned this might get a little bit confusing and if you have no idea what I mean by determining the day of the week for any calendar date I'll just give an example. So let's use uh, September 2nd, 2030 as an example. So according to my calculation, September 2nd, 2030 would fall on a Monday. And let's check if I'm correct. Yes, I am correct. So now let's get into how to actually calculate the day of the week for any date ever. And the first step in this process is that you need to memorize three codes. So the day code, this means each day of the week is assigned a number. The month code, each month of the year is assigned a number. And then the century code, each century is assigned a number. So let's start with the day code because that is the easiest. I'll pop up on the screen now the day code. So Sunday is number one, Monday is two, Tuesday is three, and so on until Saturday, and Saturday is zero. So that shouldn't be too hard to memorize. And now the month code, I'll pop up on the screen as well the month code. This one is a little bit difficult because it doesn't follow any particular order. So I had to use mnemonics to help me remember the code. I'll tell you all the mnemonics I used to remember, but I would definitely recommend that if you are learning this, that you should create your own mnemonics because it will be easier to learn that way. So the first month is January and the value for that is three. The way I remember this is that January is the beginning of a new year. We usually say happy new year at the beginning of January and new has three letters in it. So January is three. And then next on to February. February is when Valentine's Day happens. So people are love sick and then sick and six rhyme so february is six march the way i just think about march is six soldiers marching or alternatively sometimes i just think the love sickness from february is still going on to march so march is also six and now april is two the way i remember this is that my brother's birthday is april 29th and the first digit in his birthday is two then on to may May is four and the way I remember this is with the word Mayflower and the flower starts with an F and four starts with an F as well. You may be thinking five also starts with an F but this mnemonic just works for me to think of it as F for flower and F for four. Then the next month is June. June is assigned the value zero. The way I remember this is June is the middle of the year. So this is when people try and reset. If they fail their resolution from January to May, they usually try and start over again in June. So it's like a reset, which is zero. Then July is two. The way I remember this is that July ends with the word lie. And then there's that phrase to lie through one's teeth and teeth starts with a t and two starts with a t so july is two and now august so august has the value of five and the way i remember this is that if you look at the word august it has five unique letters so a u g s t so five i'll explain september and december together because they both have the same number value which is one this one is pretty easy for me to remember because if i was asked to rank the months of the year according to my favorites i would put september and december at the top at number one because those are my favorite months of the year which is why they have the value one and now on to october so october has the value of three the way i remember this is if you flip the three and place it horizontally it kind of looks like a mask and october is when we have halloween and then people are wearing masks so a mask is kind of like a three so october is three and finally november this one was probably the hardest for me to find a mnemonic for but the way i remember this is using emma stone's birthday around november was when one of my my close friends was telling me a lot about a movie that Emma Stone acted in La La Land. Emma Stone, who was a main character in the movie, her birthday is November 6th. So I remember that November is 6th. So yeah, those are the month codes. Now on to the century code. For the century code, I didn't use any fancy way to remember it. I think the more you practice trying to calculate the day of the week for any date, you just get to remember the century code. So what you need to know for the century code is that 1600 is four, and then 1700 is two, 1800 is zero, 1900 is five, and then 2000 is four. And it goes on like that again, using that repeated pattern, 4205, 
4205 every 400 years. So as you can expect, 2400 would also be 4, and then it's go 205, and then 2800 would be 4 again. I'll pop up on the screen a bunch of centuries just so you see the pattern I'm talking about and it's clearer to understand. And finally, onto how you actually determine the day of the week using this many codes that I gave you. Let's use the example that I already did above, which was September 2nd, 2030, to explain how you use these different codes to help you figure out the day of the week. So the first step is to take the last two digits of the year and divide it by four. So in this case, the year was 2030, so you take the 30 and you divide it by 4. And the number you get is 7.5, but you round that down to 7. Then the next step is to add the number you just got from step 1 to the last two digits of the year. So we got 7 from step 1, and now we're going to add it to 30 to get 37. Then step 3 would be to add the century code. So 2030 is in the 2000s, and we know that 2000s is assigned to 4. So now I add 4 to the 37, which I've already gotten, to give 41. Then for step 4, you take the number you just got in step 3, which is 41, and you add the month value to that number. So for example, we are calculating September 2nd, 2030. So the month value for September is one. So now I add 41 plus one to give me 42. Then for step five, you take the number that you just got in step four and you add the day to that number. So we just got 42 in step four and the day is the 2nd of September, 2030. So we add 42 and 2 to give us 44 and finally the last step is that you divide the number that you got in step 5 by 7 and you take the remainder so for example 44 divided by 7 is 6 remainder 2 so we take that 2 value and now really we just find out what day is assigned to the number 2 sunday is 1 because that is what starts the week and monday is 2 so that means that September 2nd, 2030 is a Monday. But there is one caveat to this process, which is that if we're working with January or February of a leap year, then before we divide by seven, which is the final step, we would have to subtract one from the total that we already have. So let's use the example of February 14th, 1620 so like i said before the first step would be to take the last two digits of the year which is 20 and divide that by four so that would be five and then we add five to the 20 which is the last two digits of the year to get 25 then we add the century code to the number we got in step two so 25 plus 4, which is the century code for the 1600s, is 29. So now we add the month value for February. The month value for February is 6, so 29 plus 6 is 35. So now we add the day, and the day of the week is the 14th, so 35 plus 14, which is 49. And here is where we subtract 1, because it is a leap year, to give us 48. So now we take that 48 and we divide it by 7 and we take the remainder. So 48 divided by 7 is 6 remainder 6. So we take that 6 and we determine what the day value is. And the day value for 6 is a Friday. So February 14th, Valentine's Day in 1620 should have been a Friday. Let's check if I'm correct. And yes, I am correct. So yeah, this is just a fun thing to learn and a way to exercise your brain. And yeah, maybe it'll be a cool party trick to show someone. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and you can comment down below your birthday next year. And I'll determine what day of the week that is and reply back to you. So yeah, bye. So to do this, you need to be a little bit Sunday start Ooh, no February February uh, then step uh,